I didn't actually know that the council offered stuff like this. Obviously the council were heavily involved in that. What's the first thing they do? They call their local council. The closer you are, the more we care. The City of Marion is home to 85,000 people, as well as the International Standard SA Aquatic Centre and one of the largest retail complexes in Australia. Marion is a diverse and progressive city that is set to unveil one of South Australia's biggest wetlands. This is a wonderful project that we've been able, after many years of negotiation, to deliver, which will see us uh, developing a wetland. So what we're doing is storing and capturing water as it flows along the Sturt Creek and diverting it from the drains into a wetland system, which will see the water slowly progress through a number of ponds. During that process, as the water gets cleaner, the water is injected down into the aquifer where it can be stored, so that if we have drought periods again, like we've had in the past, we can reuse that water. So we're waterproofing Marion for the future and hopefully going to make the environment safe and comfortable for families to picnic on and to really use that valuable water resource. Urban ecology expert Professor Chris Daniels thinks this project ticks all the boxes. It's incredibly important as a place to bring back biodiversity to the community. It's, it's a place where the community can interact with nature and it's an important water recycling location. It's able to improve the quality of water as it flows out to the Gulf. Chris also reckons there's lots of upside for local residents. What we're looking for here in the city of Marion is to build a culture of biophilia, which means a connectedness between community and nature. That when you're building a society, you don't exclude nature. And that's what this sort of area enables us to do. It gives us that contact with nature so we understand it and appreciate it. Project coordinator Oliver Fuller offers a sense of how the project works. So what we see over there is the inlet pond being built. At the moment, this is where the water will come in, where the water and the pollutants, they settle. And then from there, the water will go by gravity into the wetland with two arms and then flowing towards Oakland Road. Further down the road is a hidden treasure that illustrates the peace and beauty that a wetland can provide. This is Waraparinga. Back in the 70s, the friends of Waraparinga lobbied very strongly in partnership, I might add, with the Ghana Heritage Board to preserve this site and to protect it from housing. And what they've done today is turn this place into an oasis of greenery and restored, I guess, the natural environment to what it was pre-European settlement. I think Council recognises that it's all about increasing the capacity of our community and we need partners or stakeholders to work together to achieve what we want to achieve and that's a better future for all of us. And I think what we see today and what we're doing here is best practice and that's why Council are right behind it. For career opportunities with your local council, visit careersincouncil.sa.gov.au. Councils get close to the things that matter to you.